After nurses at St. Joseph's and St. Mary's hospitals unionized last fall, 11 months later in September, they formed a picket line and went on strike for a day amid ongoing talks on their first contract with the hospital's owner, Tenet Healthcare. When you walked on that picket line, everyone had this sense of pride. Definitely, I, I really feel like it empowered the nurses. Registered nurse Christine Valenzuela began working at St. Mary's eight years ago. It sounds so cliche, but like it's what I was meant to do. And something that really appealed to me with the union is the strong patient advocacy that, um, that they achieve because of collective action. She and nearly 75% of the nurses at St. Joseph's and St. Mary's voted to join the National Nurses Organizing Committee, National Nurses United, establishing Arizona's first nurses union with nearly 900 members. Today, she's part of the committee in negotiations. While she did not want to disclose specifics about their demands, a release from National Nurses United said nurses want hospital management to invest in nursing staff, to improve recruitment and retention, and bring down the number of patients assigned to a single nurse. There's been very strong evidence, um, research, that shows that there's a clear link between uh, optimal staffing levels and patient outcomes. So overall, and, you know, it is our goal to ensure that those patients are receiving optimal care. Last month's picket extended from coast to coast. The union strike involved 6,500 nurses at a dozen tenant hospitals in California, Arizona, and Florida. National Nurses members also went on strike outside the University of Chicago Medical Center. Tenant declined a request for an interview, but sent a statement that said in part, quote, we are disappointed that the union undertook a strike in Tucson, which in our view was not constructive or necessary. St. Joseph's and St. Mary's hospitals continue to provide quality, compassionate care during the one day strike. We took all necessary legal steps to notify the hospital, give them ample opportunity. There was a 10 day notice uh, by law that we provided and in, the, in those 10 days, the hospital had plenty of time to make appropriate arrangements to make sure that the qualified staff was in the hospital, that patients were cared for. As negotiations continue between the nurses and tenant, this week newsroom staff at the Arizona Republican Phoenix voted whether or not to form their own union. Talks began at the start of the year after the company laid off two employees. That's according to Perry Vandell, a reporter at the paper. Just prior to that vote, he spoke to us via Skype about why he supports unionizing. I had been laid off in 2015. Um, I had worked there for probably about nine months and uh, was hired back in 2017, but I know personally how devastating it can be to be laid off uh, from the paper that you love so much. Um, I had zero notice. I had maybe two weeks of severance and my health insurance would be gone by the end of the month. And so what we're trying to do is give people uh, a more notice, a longer runway and fight against layoffs when they do inevitably occur. Throughout the state of Arizona, there's been obviously quite a bit of press about this issue. What sorts of challenges has this presented for you and your colleagues in the newsroom currently? So we've gotten some pushback from management. Um, you know, the idea that the union is some kind of outside third party that uh, isn't speaking for everyone, which just isn't true. Really, what we're trying to do is preserve local journalism and preserve it from these job cuts. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, Gatehouse is set to buy Gannett and has publicly spoken about $300 million in cuts. And those cuts have to come from somewhere and will likely come from our own newsroom. Um, and so the best thing we can do is to organize and fight against that when that does occur. What ultimately do you want out of all this? We want a stronger newsroom that uh, advocates for its community and produces quality journalism like it has for the past 129 years. Ultimately, staff voted to establish the Arizona Republic Guild. According to data from the U.S. Department of Labor, as of 2018, about 5% of workers in the state belong to a union. While that rate doubles nationally, Valenzuela remains optimistic that Arizona can catch up. But definitely 2019, times are changing. People are uh, really fighting for 
um, themselves and their rights and you know nurses are stepping up to the plate. I truthfully don't want to stop at just St. Mary's and St. Joe's. I want to work on Arizona and um, get these hospitals unionized.